Hey guys, hi. So exactly on December 8th, we launched a video on how to score 100% of marks by revising in 60 days of your entire syllabus of science. And that video was a hit. And if you have not seen that video, you should check out it right now here by clicking on that I icon right now. Now, uh, in that video, we saw a lot of comments. Actually, there were concerns from you guys. Ki, Sir, how to handle uh, pre-boards and board examinations together? How to balance both of them? So my dear students, here I am today. Uh, to address that issue, okay, how to balance pre-boards and board examinations. I'm going to give you guys five basic tips through which I balance my pre-boards and board examination. I think everyone uh, who was successful did that. So my dear students, welcome to this session. My name is Abhishek. I'm the master teacher of physics at Vedantu and let's get it going. So tip number one, please consider your pre-board examinations as the revision for your board examinations. Do not consider these two as separate elements. No. So board examinations, your final target and pre-board is the path to reach that board examinations. So consider them as one uh, hurdle at a time. So once you prepare for a pre-board, you get better at it. You have your second pre-board, you get even better at it. So like this, you get super amazing by the time you reach your board examinations. So in dono ko do alag elements samjhe bina, in ko actually path samjhe or pre-board ko as a revision lije instead of the final examination. Okay. Tip number two. Now, many of you guys must be having multiple pre-boards, isn't it? I have heard Kim, a few of you guys have five pre-boards in, uh, you know, in this three months. That's crazy. But uh, the best thing about that is the mistakes which you do in, in your first pre-board, I'm pretty sure you're not going to repeat it in your second pre-board. If you are doing that, trust me, buddy, you have to work a lot harder now. So the mistakes which you commit in your first pre-board, try not attempting in your second. And the same goes for your third and your fourth and the end number of pre-boards which you are having. Ultimately, what's going to happen is by the end, uh, in your board examinations, you will end up doing no mistakes at all. Now, if in case you do not have multiple pre-boards, you have only one pre-board, then guess what? You have enough amount of time to revise and revise and revise and revise and do no mistakes in your board examinations. And if in that case, try to solve as many practice papers as possible before your board examination. Tip number three, the most important one. Try to cover 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus in your pre-board one. Now, if in case your pre-board one is over, try to cover in your consequent uh, boards as well. Take care. Now, what is the purpose of here? So once you do 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus in your pre-boards, then you're left with only 10 to 20 percentage of the syllabus for your board examinations. And I'm pretty sure that 10 to 20 percentage would be the uh, syllabus which you have kept it separately, which are, which are the most unimportant questions or the unimportant topics in your syllabus, isn't it? You always try to cover the most important topics and that's a very great way to do it. Continue doing that, not an issue at all. Now, once you're done that, once you're done that, make sure, just as a suggestion, before your board examination comes in, try to cover that 10, 20 percentage in your, uh, you know, upcoming pre-boards itself. So your 100 percentage of the syllabus is already done and you are pretty confident in your board examinations. Tip number four, it's very easy. It's related to your tip number three. How to cover that 70 to 80 percentage syllabus, sir? We are always confused about it. It's very simple, guys. It's very, very simple. Cover your NCRT in text and exercise questions. For sure, that's very, very, very mandatory. Number two is to cover up your NCRT exemplar. And finally, is to cover up your CBSE sample paper at least for your pre-boards. Now, with that, what will happen is you many of you guys might have already uh, realized this and many of you guys might already know that a lot of schools actually give the CBC sample paper directly as one of the pre-board papers, isn't it? Yes, they do that. So CBC sample paper, the latest one is very, very important to be covered for your pre-boards as well for your board examinations. And that's how you complete your 70 to 80 syllabus, uh, maybe uh, the 100 percentage of syllabus as well. And finally, guys, the tip number five and according to me, the most important one personally. Why is that? Now, once we get the pre-board examination results and we are looking into our marks, we always get disheartened and demotivated. Now, my only suggestion to you guys is never do that because pre-boards is not the ultimate aim. It's the board examinations. As I said already, consider pre-board as the revision test at Apart from the, you know, a basic final test examination, it is not your end of your life. It's just a pre-board examination just to revise for boards and schools also consider the same way. Now, many of these schools, I'm pretty sure you must have already uh, uh, given your first pre-board maybe and you must have seen that the pre-board paper was really tough. That's okay. Many of you guys might have felt it as easy also. That's very cool. But majority of the students consider the pre-board paper as tough because the schools make sure that you are exposed to the toughest of the paper out there so that your board examination seems to be pretty easy. And trust me, that's a very good thing. And board examinations are actually 
amazingly easy as compared to your pre-board examinations, as compared to your school tests. So trust me, you are going to rock. So my dear students, be always motivated and inspired by yourself. Never doubt on yourself. And as I always say, keep telling to yourself that I can and I will watch me world. True? Okay. Now, if in case you get really good marks in your pre-boards, trust me, go on to the same path. Keep, uh, you know, keep, be determined completely and be dedicated to the syllabus and never be overconfident on yourself. Number two, if in case you got less marks, it's okay. You understood where you are lacking. Work on your weak points and you will get better at it, obviously, because you are a hard worker, isn't it? So I hope guys that you enjoyed all that five tips and if in case you have any other tips, you can please put it on forward in the comment section below so that it can help me and it can also help all the other students out there that you as a top or uh, you as a student is following this particular tip. So my dear students and also do let me know how many of you guys love this tips and if you guys love this, do not forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. And I'm pretty sure you must have been seeing all our videos already and I could see that in the number of views, in the subscriber count and also in the amount of likes we get for every single video. So my dear students, with that, I'll be ending the video right now. I will see you guys in the next session. Until then, this is Abhishek signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.